Welcome to a TB Aquatics Real World Review. TB Aquatics has provided products for this video. TB Aquatics has no editorial control over the video or the contents. The views presented in this video may or may not represent the views of TB Aquatics. The reviews of the products are 100% those of the video personality and were not influenced by TB Aquatics. I'm going to be reviewing the Bio Booster from Neos or Nios. Here it is. This has a lot of fancy talk on it. On the side of the bottle it says consists of more than 90 ingredients containing m many vitamins and amino acids. And then it says it's ideal in combination with Neos Absolute Aminos and Neos Coral Nectar. Well, the only other product that I got that uh, I think would be compatible with this wasn't listed on uh, this bottle but I got the Zeo or the Zeolite um, by the same brand and on that it says in combination with Nios Bio Booster back in zero blah 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 so it wants me to use this with the Zeolite so that this first review is going to be uh, about the Bio Booster. I, I've been using it for a couple of days now. It says the dosage is two to six milliliters per 1,000 liters per day. So on this tank, there's about 150 gallons of um, water volume. So I'm just going to cut the dosage in half, four to 12 milliliters for my usage. But as far as the product itself, I remember some of those test kits I was reviewing. They came with this handy little syringe and I'm using that to measure this out. This bottle doesn't come with any applicator or anything like that. There's no way to really measure it with what's included. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to have that syringe on hand. This really smells just like vinegar. I'm trusting that their, their claim is accurate, that there's 90 other ingredients in here, but this is basically um, some form of carbon dozing, whatever their uh, recipe is for that. So I haven't been using Nopox in a while, but that has a very strong alcohol smell. I'm guessing the base for this carbon dozing method is vinegar. So we'll see how it does. And um, let me show you the problems I'm having in the tank right now, and then we'll come back in a week or two with uh, portion two of this video to see if there's any improvement or if the colors are, are starting to look better or worse on some of the corals. So let's take a look. Hello, lovely. Okay, not really lovely, but you can see I got a little bit of a hair algae problem going on. My nitrates are testing at zero same as phosphates and I'm guessing they're just getting sucked up by stuff like this before um, the test kit will even register it. It's also um, attaching itself to my peppermint shrimp screen and then um, ooh, even a little bit of bryopsis is starting to rear its ugly little head up here. Um, but yeah so I'm leaving this slime here to see if uh, this problem gets better or worse. If you're familiar with carbon dosing, if you don't get it just right, you know, the, the bacteria is gonna swing one way or the other. You're either gonna make things like red slime worse or better. Okay, so it's been about 10 days since I started using the Bio Booster by Neos, and I was reading the ingredients list on here, and acetic acid is one of the top ingredients, which is basically what vinegar's main component is, is acetic acid. So it's no wonder that it smells like vinegar. Um, but as far as the dosage, I've been um, using about five milliliters a day on this tank. And um, the cleaning on the glass has gone down significantly. I used to, you know, when I was just letting everything go, I was cleaning the glass once a day. And now I could probably get away with cleaning the, the film off the glass like every three or four days. So we still got a little bit of a problem that's going on, um, but I'm hoping with the next supplement from Neos, we'll just nip that in the bud. We're still testing zero on phosphates and nitrates, but we still have an algae problem, but I'm impressed with the results so far just from 
just using the carbine dozing, dozing method through this bio booster. The slime is reduced a little bit, the red slime. Um, so that I'm pretty confident that means I'm not overdosing, overdosing this product. Um, but the hair algae is subsiding a little bit. Let's take a look. We still have a hair algae problem here on the underside here. But up on this shelf, it's not getting worse. If you remember right under this plug, this was just all covered in red slime. And then up here was all red slime um, starting to form. You can still see there's a little bit of it, but it's greatly reduced. It's, it's a lot less drastic. Lastly, and probably the most important thing to me and my reef on this review is my previous method for carbon dosing was no pox. This is one of my most sensitive corals to any changes in the tank. The alkalinity when I run it around 9 or 10 um, and I use a carbon dosing method like no pox, I would get fried tips. Um, but with the bio booster, it didn't fry the tips and I'm still uh, running high alkalinity. I'm not a chemist, I don't know exactly what's going on here, um, but this is my first experience using something that smells like vinegar. So maybe there's a difference between like a ethanol or alcohol based um, carbon dosing method and, and vinegar. If you know the answer to that, or can think of another reason why I am not burning the tips uh, with the Bio Booster by Neos, leave a comment below. I'm interested to hear about your experience with other carbon dosing methods and please don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button if you hated this video.